Joe from the Professional Services team at Firewalls.com and in this video we're going to talk about SonicWalls GeoIP which allows you to block connections to or from a geographic location. In this video we're going to do a global GeoIP block along with a little bit of troubleshooting. But before we get to that let's talk about SonicWall. For this feature to work properly uh, GeoIP must be licensed and the country database must be downloaded to the appliance. The status indicator turns yellow if this download fails for any reason. Green status means the download was successful. I will point out there are two modes for GUIP blocking. The one in this demonstration is for a global GUIP block, meaning every connection will be scanned. The Sonic wall also allows for policy-based blocking. Blocking through firewall access rules gives a network administrator greater control over what traffic is and isn't scanned by GYP filter. This is useful for deployments in which outbound traffic will be allowed, but inbound traffic will be subject to scanning. This is excellent for DDoS or other network attack mitigation as well as for anti-spoofing. Like always, we're using a lab box for this tutorial. This is a TZ370 wireless firewall. As you can see here, GeoIP filter is licensed. So I'm going to click on top on, on the top on policies. On the left side, you'll find security services and then GeoIP filter. Here's where you verify the database is downloaded. It should be green, not yellow. And, and here you'll have your selection for all connections, meaning a global GeoIP policy, everything behind the network will be scanned, or you can do a firewall rule-based connection. I always want to make sure that uh, logging is enabled. I'm going to hit save. Head over to countries. Now for this video, I selected the very first country, Afghanistan. Um, so we're going to find a website to test with. Um, I'm going to click on this one right here. And as you can see, we can reach it right now. So I'm going to go to the firewall, click Afghanistan, move it over to the right side using the arrows, and I'm going to hit accept. Now, we shouldn't be able to reach it because this computer is behind the firewall. Spoiler alert, we will be able to reach it, and that's part of the troubleshooting we'll be doing in this video. Um, so just to show you, I'm going to refresh, and there it is. Um, and just to make sure it's not cached, I'm going to open a new incognito window, paste the website address, and there it is again. Okay, let's close this. Um, so my first thought here is that maybe this website is not actually coming from Afghanistan. Um, so to test that, you're going to head over to device. And on the left side, you'll find diagnostics. We are going to do a DNS name lookup. So I'm going to paste the address here. Let's get rid of these extra characters. Hit go. And that's going to give me the IP address. I'm going to copy that. And then we're going to head over to GeoIP and Bonnet Lookup. I'm going to paste that address. And there you go. This um, website is actually in India. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back to Policy, Security Services, GeoIP Filter. And in, as you can see, actually, on the tabs here, you also have a diagnostics section here, and you can do the um, IP lookup here as well, India. So I'm going to click on countries, and I'm going to find India. And I'm going to add that to the blocking. Now, you're going to be blocking the whole country of India by doing this. So what you could do is... Um, Grab the IP address and make a uh, ACL policy for that IP address blocking um, just for that website. That way you're not blocking the whole country of India. We do have videos on creating access rule policies, so make sure you check that out. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and proceed and block India. 
Now we are going to open a new incognito window again. And as you can see here, we get this block window from SonicWall. If we type in the website again, it will just load, uh, but it will never make the complete the connection. This is because um, DPI SSL is not enabled on this firewall, but if you use HTTP, you'll get the same sonic wall um, window again. The other tabs here are for a custom list, which you can apply here at the very first page. And this is the um, block window that came up when we tried to reach that website. Um, you could edit this here and leave maybe an email for your IT support department or some kind of instruction instruction for the user to follow if this is a legitimate um, website that they need to reach for business. And one more thing before we conclude this video, um, if you remember, we enabled logging here um, and I'm going to show you where you can check that out. If you click on monitor on the left side, you'll find logs, system logs. I'm going to filter this to security services right here. And you can also use this for troubleshooting. Um, and here you can see the blocks that we did to that website in India. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. We'll see you at the next one.